Welcome back by the Drunken Barbecue, my friend. Today we're going to make butt fingers. Yes, you hear that right, butt fingers, aka country ribs or boneless ribs. And we're going to make them today on the ugly drum smoker. Let's waste no time and fire it up. While ugly Greta, my smoker, is heating up, we're going to prep our meat. And the meat of choice today is pork butts, which I sliced up. Come on, let's get marinating. Well, everybody names the baby, and this drum is mine, so meet Greta. Ugly Greta. Let's marinate our ribs while ugly Greta is heating up. And as rub, we're using today a Crow Valley Sweet Heat Rub. The process is quite simple, just sprinkle it on in a nice firm amount. I know it's kind of messy, but hey, whatever makes a mess is going to taste nice. And the advantage of making a mess is you can just roll your meat through it later on again. And it's basically roll, repeat, roll, repeat till all sides are covered. Easy money. And now all sides are covered, we're just going to let it sweat for say like 15 minutes or till Greta is hot. Because the girl needs to be warm. And today the smoker is hot when it reaches 275 degrees. Time for phase two. Meat is marinating, calls are going, time to heat up the baby. To smoke the meat we're using chunks of maple and I add say like three of these in there, that's enough. And spread them out a bit guys, then you will have smoke for a long time. And there we go, we're going to bring her up the temperature, in this case 275 degrees, and we're laughing. Easy peasy. The smoker is up to temperature, time to stick the meat on. Ta-da! Fantastic my friends, fantastic, look at that. Let's quickly put the lid back on again. The disadvantage of a barrel smoker is when you cut the lid off, it added oxygen and the whole thing flares back up again. And a really hot smoker is not what we want. 275 is the max. So we're just going to choke back the airflow a little bit and let everything settle out again. And now we're going to let this smoke away, my friends, for say like an hour, hour and a half, till the internal temperature of our meat is about 195 degrees. <laughs> you can hear all the drippings of the meat falling in the fire, flaring back up and adding extra flavor. An hour and a half has gone by, time to check the temperatures. Yes, my friend, I have a thermometer. <laughs> Does it not look fantastic? Well, see how this thing is going to work. Time for the next phase. For the next phase, we're going to put these bad boys into a braising liquid. For this braising liquid, we're taking some barbecue sauce, apple juice, bourbon, brown sugar and chili flakes. We mix this well and Bob is your uncle. Next, we're going to wrap these bad boys up in some aluminum foil. Now we're putting them back on the cooker for say like another hour or so and then it's chow time. And just keep the same temperature guys for 275 degrees and all will be okay. While we're waiting for the meat to cook there are only two things left to do. First one, we need to make a barbecue sauce. Of course we're making our barbecue sauce ourselves. So we're putting in a pan some ketchup, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, garlic and paprika powder. Mix this together, bring it to a boil and simmer it till it's nice and thick. In a second, you're probably curious what kind of thermometer a cheap guy like me is using. It's a Thermopro. It ain't cheap, easy to use, just what the doctor ordered. And if you want to know more about this thermometer, the link is in the description below. There we go, we are another hour later. See if our butt fingers country style ribs or boneless ribs are ready. You see that? You see that? After all those hours cooking, still 275. This homemade cooker doing great. 
Now I've got my thermometer, I should ask Santa Claus for some real gloves. It smells already fantastic, so if we need to go by the smell, this is a success. But let's take the cover off, stick the probe in it and see what it became. And hopefully it's not going to fall off this post. Oh yes! Doesn't that look awesome? One ninety, one ninety and a bit, nearly two hundred on the thick one. Two oh five on the thin one. They're ready, my friends. We're gonna sauce them up and stick them back on the smoke. And back on they go. Sizzle, sizzle away. Now our meat is back on the smoker, it's time to caramelize our barbecue sauce. Oh look at that, look at that, isn't that fantastic? Now one side is sauced up, we're going to turn them over, we're going to do it all over again, caramelize the babies, and ciao ciao. This video is sponsored by Barbecue Phil Canada and Lumberjack, you will find our links in the description below. We got to be careful because they are fresh out right now. Because they're all cooked and ready to be eaten. We keep painting, you guys might think I'm an interior decorator. We got to grill this for so like five minutes per site, and that's it. Oh, what? All there is left to do now is plate her up and let the food fest begin. So, time to get the babies off the fire. Look at that. Oh, that's super tender, guys, super tender. Pack at our familiar spot to make the meat look good. We're gonna put some sesame seeds on there and some green onion shavings. Some sesame seeds. Kika, chicky, chicky, chicky. And some green onions. Got to have onions, right? Doesn't matter which color they are. I go for the green ones today. If this isn't what the doctor ordered, I don't know it anymore. Here we go. Time for the ultimate taste test. Ooh no doubt it will be tender because you saw it already falling apart when I took it out of the smoker. Here we go. Oh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can taste the smoke, obviously it's falling apart, a little bit sweet, tanginess, and a hint of spice. Mmm, life is good, I could never be a vegetarian, I can't, I can't, I can't really compare against this, oh, fantastic. Well my friends, screw the baby back ribs, butt fingers are the way to go. Mmm, oh look at that, the fall apart, mm. awesome, mm. I hear angels singing while I'm eating this, fantastic, and that's it again for this week guys, before you sip away, check out the next video, don't forget to check the link in the description guys, thanks for watching, hit those like and subscribe buttons and see you next week.